Hi there! My name's Mike G and welcome to the Surf Shack! <laughs> is one of our uh, tributes to the uh, Domino Phantom style guitars from back in the 60s. Um, an era where everybody wanted to be a Californian. Everybody wanted to spend their days surfing the beaches. Um, surfing the beaches? Actually, I think it was more like surfing the bitches, but I'm just gonna move on from there. Ah, so uh, modeled after one of those Domino style guitars, uh, we crossed it um, with what is obviously one of our favorite um, style guitars, a Tele. Um, so this is a, uh, a surf, a surf Tele Master Caster, and I can't call it what I'm thinking because uh, uh, there's a copyright to that name. Um, but but essentially what we got here um, is uh, another one of our masterful Barncaster um, gems. Um, she has a reclaimed pine body. Um, it is a, a approximately an inch and a half thick. We have a maple maple neck uh, with the pointy headstock on it. Very similar, but not copying the uh, Vox style guitar. Um, this neck um, is uh, uh, was manufactured by FMIC. Some of you may know them as Fender Musical Instrument Corp. Um, but it obviously does not feature one of their copyrighted headstocks. And that goes out to you lawyer guys. Um, <coughs> Uh, it, is, it is not a thin neck, it is not a thick neck, um, it's sort of like a thin chunky, um, but it's, it's nice and uh, for those of us with short fingers, um, it, it, definitely, um, it definitely feels good. So it's not overly big, it's not baseball bat. Um, pickup wise in here, um, we've got, um, uh, we, we've got uh, a, a Telecaster single coil, Telecaster neck pickup. And uh, we also have um, um, a Fender bridge on here. Down here, I've got a, a Fender Telecaster control plate with um, uh, with uh, uh, full size um, Alpha Pots orange drop cap. This is a uh, three way switch, and uh, then of course we got output jack right there. Um, we didn't beat this one up too much. Um, it really it, it shows a few dings in that, but that is actually left over from uh, uh, the. Uh, you know, from from the boards that were were, were used to create this, um, it was actually the character left on them. Uh, the wood itself is 50 plus years old, um, nice and dry. Uh, we did we did give it a little bit of a rustic look, but again, it's not beat up. You'll also notice it is a string through on here. Uh, we can do string through on these, no problem at all. Um, <coughs> what do we got to go from there? What are we doing from there? Um, I, I guess it's time to play. Uh, we're gonna do what we always do. Uh, we're going to do uh, bridge the neck and the neck and bridge together um, and then we're going to flip it back around um, Start it all over and add a little bit of gain to it uh, and then we're going to go into the overdrive channel Of course, we're using our uh, solid-state crate GTD 15R amp Which is the world's greatest solid-state amp um, and you have to ask yourself if it sounds good through a solid-state amp What is this guitar going to sound like through your tube amp of yeah of yes you in the back? Yes, yes, it will sound glorious <laughs> That said, uh, it's time to do what we do best, and that is um, uh, play uh, mediocre guitar riffs um, in an effort to uh, demonstrate the quality, um, totally, of the uh, uh, overall sonic palette of this uh, surftastic uh, masterpiece. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do uh, bridge clean.
And now both! <laughs> for somebody else. Uh, just know this, that almost all of our woodshed barn casters made out of the inch and a half thick uh, reclaimed pine, they're almost all uh, $2.99. Great Christmas gift, great, great gift to yourself, great uh, I just got a job gift, you know, um, you know, celebration, or you know what? It's Monday. You deserve a new guitar. That's it. My name is Mike G. I'm out. <laughs>